Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Satellite of Love. I'm Joel Robinson. Oh, look, here comes uh, Tom Servo, Crow T. Robot. Hello. Evening. Hey, come on up here, you guys. I want to show you this toothpick sculpture I've been working on for the last three years. You've been working three years on that? Well, yeah, on nights and weekends. Not very good. Uh, I mean, uh, what is it? It's a scale reproduction model of Monticello rendered in toothpick. I got the idea off the nickel, see? It's beautiful. Ooh. Where'd you get all the toothpicks? What, are you kidding? We're on a spaceship. This place is crawling with toothpicks. Uh, well, it really is cool, Joel. Uh, of course, you know we'll have to break it. <laughs> it's nothing personal, you understand. It's just a thing we have to do. Yeah. <laughs> OK. Hmm? Uh huh? Sure, go ahead. That's why I made it. Smash oh. away. No, no, no. Joel, you're really? ruining it for me. Yeah, I feel dirty. Commercial oh. sign in five, five seconds. seconds. Sure seems like a waste it being all toothpicky and fragile and all. Commercial, Commercial sign, sign now. I'm just going to leave it here, unattended, to dry. Now, we'll be right back. So, how was it for you? Well, as far as breaking stuff goes, it was good, not great. Yeah, not as good as that ceramic bell collection. Oh, mm. oh Milovitz and Associates are calling. Oh. Hey, and this? Oh, let me see. Oh, <laughs> that's my old head. <laughs> Just pile that under Frank's first head, OK? Right. Oh, hi, Joel. Uh, Look, we're way too busy to even do an invention this week. We're being audited. You go right ahead, though. It's a Doc Tari stool. <laughs> what do you think, sirs? Doc Tari stool? Whatever. Anyway, Joel, it's a madhouse down here. Uh, we're being audited by the Fraternal Order of Mad Science. You know, one of those are you really mad enough sort of things. Frank? <laughs> Three Jarvik sevens. Put them in the junk drawer. Jeez, didn't the temp agency test you on any of this stuff? Well, I'm a little off my game. I'm not normally required to wear a leg iron like this. Say, what is the deal with this guy and those cute robots? Listen, Mr. $4.25 an hour. You stick with the boxes, and I'll handle the experiment. Is that all right with you? Frank, can I see you a minute? Sure thing, Dr. F. Say, Steve, this temp stuff is working out great, don't you think? Well, I'm so glad your little friend is working out so nicely, Frank. Now, what about sending Joel the movie, you boob? Oh, the movie, the movie, the movie. Oh, for the love of movie. the movie. Movie, 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 movie. Oh, Frank, look, remember? The double butt graft. My science project from Evil Oats. I grafted the butt of a dog onto the butt of a cat. Sure, they all laugh. Dr. F, the movie, the movie. Oh, right. Uh, here it is. Mitchell, starring Joe Don Baker. You guys watch Joe Don Baker movies? Oh, look, just get back to work, temp boy. Right. Well, here it comes, Joel. Mitchell, it's a super secret spy, has a motorcycle, marooned in space, meets Hercules, or not. Uh, watch it and weep, Joel Prawl Mall. Send him the movie, Frank. Frank, the movie? I like the way you use the oh, corner oh, oh, we go! Oh, oh, OK, now, you guys, we got about three minutes before we're due back in the theater, so we got to do this outward bound experience too sweet, OK? Servo, you know the drill. Roger. Joel lowers us into the refuse trench, and we have but 90 seconds to field strip ourselves and reassemble ourselves while dangling by our popos in the stinky darkness. Ready? Mm hmm. Commando Crow, are you ready? Crow's ah. frosty. Ah. You kids, be careful. Don't worry, ma'am. We'll bring them back alive. Let's go. Action Jackson is my name. Bye. See you later. Oh. Oh. Oh, the light dog. Oh, guys. Guys. Oh, hey, the uh, evil underpants. Hey, guys. Oh, uh, hello, sirs. Don't worry, doctor. I knew when we brought him on, we'd have to eliminate him. That's half the fun. Yes, Frank, but how? These things must be done delicately. <laughs> After all, he knew going in that this was only a temporary situation. Yes, and now I want this temporary situation taken care of permanently. <laughs> Are we talking about the same thing? 
He's been a canker sore on my gum line for too long. The way he struts around like he owns the place. Pa! Let's use method number 53, hmm? Yes, elegant, painful. And leaves nothing behind but the great smell of brute. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it now. No, no, patience, my little henchman. Let's wait until after the experiment. <laughs> yes, brilliant. Make him work for it. Yeah. And then? And then our little bejumpsuited fool will be history. <laughs> Get back to work. Jumpsuit? Fool? They're going to kill Joel. They're going to kill Joel. They're going to kill Joel. Help. What do I do? What do I do? I got to get him out of here. They're going to kill him. Help. Easy, girl. Take it easy. Calm down. Breathe through your nose. Oh, here we go. That does it. Easy does it. Okay. 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 They're going to kill Joel. Ah! O-E-P. E-O-P. P-O-E. Um, working like a dog. Got to think how to get Joel off this ship. How to get Joel off. Charter flight? No. How? How? How to get Joel off this ship, but... How? Boy, I'm frustrated. Well, back at it. Throw him? No. Hey, oh. Gypsy. Working oh. on a project, huh? Oh. Have you seen my Inside the PGA around here anywhere? No, Joel. I haven't seen your magazine anywhere. Oh, it's got this great article on Fuzzy Zeller. Joel, if you were faced with your imminent death and had to get back to Earth like Pronto, how would you do it? Oh, come on, I'd never leave you. But Joel, your imminent death! Gypsy, honey, I could never leave you. It's oh. all for one and one for all. That's the Robinson way. Oh, <laughs> no! <laughs> Fuzzy Zeller, what a great guy. Oh, <laughs> oh, I can't tell Joel. He would never leave. I'm alone with my heavy burden. On we! Wait, I've got Tom and Crow to help me. I'm sure in a pinch I can depend on them to be serious and calm and intelligent. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. what's next? What's next? Okay, Hardcast Lemon McCormack. Okay. Red, raven like the oh, demon no. that drives your tree. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> hey, what you doing, Gyps? This is very, very, very important. It's a guitar lick. Damn, yeah. Okay, yeah. Can you two keep a secret? No. Nope. Never could, never will, Gypsy. <laughs> okay, oh, Crow, how about Bonanza? No. Including the words. Oh, okay. It's all right if I pick a little fight, Bonanza. Oh, I'm being tested. Oh. Who? Who is testing Gypsy? Hello? Well, I will prevail because I am good and the Mads are evil. But, oh! oh, you guys got movie on. Oh! And so you see, Mike, that's why we need to bring him down. That's amazing, Gypsy. Well, we've got to do something. Here's a manifest for the satellite of love. Maybe there's something here that can help. Yes, yes, oh, yes, oh, please, 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 please. Okay, I assume you tried to gain control of the escape pod in Dock 14. Yes, I tried to gain control... There's an escape pod in Dock 14? According to this, there's a single occupant escape pod called the Deus Ex Machina. How could I not see it? Dumb, stupid, dumb. I wouldn't blame yourself, Gypsy. Apparently, it's in a box marked Hamdingers. Well, no wonder we didn't see it. Nobody likes Hamdingers. So how do we get them down, huh? I don't know. These clowns must have control. Let's try this thing. Here it is. If, ah. The pod is controlled remotely at the Tektronic panel, which must be this thing. If direct access from the satellite is desired, the security key must be inserted into the panel and the sequence C colon backslash CD backslash manual period EXE must be entered. Frank's got to have the key. He loves keys. Well, great. Frank's got the key, so how do I get him? Hey, Frank, can I borrow your keys? OK. Thanks. Okay, here we go. Let's see, uh, C, colon, backslash, back, manual, EXE. I hate these things. Okay, it says direct access initiated. You're on your own, Gypsy. Uh-oh. Hey, what did you need my keys for? Um, your, your lights were on. Oh, okay, I can... Hey, I don't have a car. Well, 
Well, what did you give me your keys for? I don't know. I thought I left my lights on. I'm glad I didn't waste time shutting off your imaginary lights. Well, uh, I'm sorry. I've got control! Ooh, I got to get moving! 20 seconds to expulsion! Okay, okay all right, we've got this letter to read. Uh, let's put it up on Still Store. Okay, this one comes to us from a... Ten seconds and counting! Ten! Nine! Gypsy, eight, could you please turn off these emergency lights? We've got this letter to read. Sure! One expulsion! Oh, oh, oh. The hell was that? Yeah, where's Joel? Yeah. I can explain everything! Huh? Come back quick! Give me rocket number nine! He'll finally get to be among his own in the wild! Hey, look! There's a prize inside that box of ham dingers, an escape pod. Hey guys, look at me, I'm on my way to Earth. Pretty crazy, huh? Uh, what about us? Yeah. Uh, what are we supposed to do without you? Uh, who's gonna teach us about what it is to be human and stuff? Yeah. Listen, you guys, at this point, you guys know as much about it as I do. Uh, listen, you know, I don't have a lot of time. My signal's starting to break up. I can tell I'm getting out of range. Listen, if you look under the desk, there's a plaque I made for you guys to put up to remember me by. Uh, yeah, here it is. Look, boy, nice job, Joel. Very professional looking. Really nice job. Uh, yeah, thanks. I, I really got to get out of here. I'm almost out of range. Listen, you guys, be strong and true. I love you. Bye. Well, it's been a big day. Who's hungry? No, not yet, Doofus. Oh. Let's find out what's on the plaque. Oh, okay. Press that button there. Oh. Uh, uh, Recording. Uh, ah. To all on the satellite of love from Joel. Hey, that's us! Awesome. Shh! The whole world is a circus if you look at it the right way. Every time you pick up a handful of dust and see not the dust, but a mystery, a marvel there in your hand. Every time you stop and think, I'm alive, and being alive is fantastic. Every time such a thing happens, you are part of the circus of Dr. Lou. What? What? Circus of Dr. Lou? Oh, oh gee, boy. brother, Joel leaves and his last words are from a George uh... Pals movie? Oh, I thought it would be something profound, you know, like from the Psalms or the Upanishads or, or even the Desiderata for that matter. Last, Last transmission, transmission from Joel, Joel coming, coming in on Hexfield. The, the, the Joel, buddy, the circus of Dr. Lou, I don't get it. Hey, it's my favorite movie, so sue me. I gotta go, guys. Hey, see you later. Sorry, folks, I can't come back. Bye. I don't know how it works. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Wow. Oh, I'm going to miss him. <sighs> yeah, well, I guess he's gone for good, fellas, and that only means one thing. I'm in charge. What? Race you to the Mallow Cups? I found out where he hides them. Oh, Crow, too <laughs> soon. Oh. Think they'll send us a new guy? Oh, sure. They're bound to. But until that happens... Panic! Ah! Panic! Panic! Ah! 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 What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Uh, nothing like a good shower to make one feel new again, huh? I feel great. Nothing can get in the way of my good mood. What's going on, Frank? Oh, not much. Uh, inventory's under control. Uh -huh. <laughs> Floor needs mopping. Oh, good. Joel escaped from the satellite of love. Oh, well, oh. I see you've got the situation <laughs> well in hand. What? Joel escaped from the satellite of love? Oh, I'd better get started on that floor. <laughs> Frank, my towel and your hinder have an appointment. But first, we've got to rescue Joel. Oh, no. No! Frank, he's landed safely in the Australian outback. Well, let's just hope he landed on Yahoo Sirius. Oh, well, that's a good point, Frank, because... Frank, can't you see we're ruined? What are we going to do? <laughs> Uh, well, we could send someone else into space. Who are we gonna find at this late date to send into space? Did you guys sign my time card? <laughs> are you thinking what I'm thinking, Frank? <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna sign his time card, are you? <laughs> Come on, you gotta sign my time card. Of course, I'll sign your time card, young man. In fact, I think you're going to be working for me for a long, long time. <laughs> Push the button, Frank. 
Uh, say, Mike, what size jumpsuit do you wear? Uh, 